Hi, I'm Patu from Free Cal. In this video, let's talk about why stock market graphs or uh, any capital market linked asset is often plotted in log scale or logarithmic scale. So if you take a graph like this, you can see that the behavior that you see is dominated by the last two data points, the growth from three to four here and then from four to five. So uh, what catches our eye is this uh, what's called as a hockey stick graph or this um, exponential growth. But what happens here? What about the details here? Uh, do we have any idea about what happens there? So the log graph is a way to bring out the details uh, that happens in the initial part of the graph and it kind of, uh, you know, puts all the growth uh, on an even keel for all data points. To understand how that works, we need to understand what a logarithm is. So let's get over to Excel here. So now everybody knows what 10 squared is, right? So 10 squared is obviously, excuse me, 10 squared is obviously 100. And the logarithm is a way to get back the power to the base of 10. So I, if I ask myself, what is log 10, sorry, of 100, I will get back that two. So, uh, another example is suppose I take 10 to the power 2.562. That's some weird number. I don't know what that is. That is that number. So now if I ask myself, what is log 10 of this number, I should get back the power the, to the base of 10, 2.562. So that's how the logarithm works. And one of the most important ideas of the logarithm is that if I take log of A divided by B, so if I have two numbers A and B, and if I have the uh, division A by B, if I take the logarithm of that division A divided by B, then that is simply log A minus log B. So when I plot a graph in logarithm, it basically gives us this difference between um, adjacent data points. The growth between this data one, data point one to data point two is given from the growth from 10 to 100. Two to three is given from 100 uh, to 1000 and so on. But if you look at this, the difference between any two adjacent uh, values in this graph, for example, log 100 minus log 10 is just one. Log thousand minus log 100 is again one three minus two is one log 10,000 is four log thousand is three so log 10,000 minus log thousand is again one so if you if you plot it in this way the difference between the any two data points is just one so the amount of growth that you have seen from one to two is the same two to three is the same in this graph uh, and so on so what looks like this in a normal graph, if you plot it in a logarithmic graph, you're bringing out the difference between uh, one and two, the growth difference between one and two, two and three, and so on. And that for the simple case looks uh, linear. Now let's take a look at the Sensex graph. This is the Sensex price chart from um, 3rd April 79 to somewhere uh, May or June, whenever I plotted this graph last. And this looks like this. And if you can look at this, the dominant features that you see here, uh, you can see the Corona crash. You can see the 2008 crash, and and this this features dominate uh, entirely dominate the whole thing. And you you uh, do not know any idea what happened in the uh, 70s and uh, late 70s and 80s, and even the features in the 90s are kind of subdued. But if you plot this in the logarithmic graph, and you get a this kind of a graph, it looks very different. And I have plotted it in such a way that. Uh, you can see this scale is now increasing in 0 0.5, 2 to 2.5, 2.5 to 3 and so on. Every 0.5 difference, this height of 0.5, the growth is the same. So the uh, if the growth of Sensex from, let's say this, uh, so let's assume this to be 2, 2 to 2.5 is the same as the growth of the Sensex from 4 to 4.5, 4.5 to 5 and uh, so on. So we are now able to compare everything uh, on the same platform and in this platform you can see the features in the late 70s 80s and 90s they are 
you know um, highlighted much more than the features in the recent years but you can you, you can now compare for example this is the increase in the sensex during the um, uh, Harshad Mehta scandal time and you can increase uh, compare this increase uh, with this increase the bull run from 2003 2004 to 2008 and the, this bull run from uh, March 2020 onwards so you can compare all of them on the same uh, uh, basis you can actually take uh, this and annotate it further so for example I've taken a segment of the sensex and you can see here this green line the height of this green line which shows the increase of the sensex in, in um, during the Harsh Mehta scandal that height is now this height this, the, the growth in the sensex during that period in the 90s is is the same uh, from 2003 to uh, 2008 approximately but that this happened in the space of one and a half two years whereas this happened over the space of uh, five years or six years approximately so uh, there's a difference and also you can compare the falls the fall here after the Harshad Mehta scandal the fall here uh, the dot com uh, crash and the fall here 2008 crash and so on these red lines the slanted red lines the height of them uh, of each of them the c1 c2 and c3 they are all the same and you can easily compare uh, what happened uh, and it, so it it is basically a, a, a window into past risk so you can understand how risky the sensex has been uh, in the past by just looking at it in the uh, log graph and instead of getting um, you know um, misled by powers of compounding and so on um, so you can understand again here this flat line here that is the sideways market the, the decade that was lost uh, during the period when India's economy opened up, the political environment was very turbulent. We had changes in governments in the looks, uh, in the in the center, and so on. And again, there's a there, this this is a kind of sideways market that you can see here. So this these two lengths of these two are the uh, uh, the same, but of course the x-axis is normal scale in this. Uh, you can also plot it in log scale, but that doesn't help you too much. Uh, in this case so this is the reason why uh, stock market charts are plotted in log scale now many of you may know that i have often said don't invest in nasdaq 100 of course many young uh, uh, people who watch my videos they're very annoyed with me this old guy is talking about that one of the reasons for that it becomes clear when you plot the nasdaq 100 total return in inr in log scale and you can see here uh, when you do that look at the time period the, the from uh, the 2000s to uh, about 2012 that's like a period of 11 11 and a half 12 years the nasdaq 100 was underwater it, it did not recover at all now uh, how do you know that this kind of a 10 year 12 year period of uh, you know no returns and losses will not happen to you when you invest i mean so that is a risk with the index it's a thematic index it's it's a sectoral index or whatever you want to call it and it's extremely risky and i i think it should be avoided and you you can appreciate risk much better in the log scale and um that is the reason why i think we should always look at the stock market charts whenever possible in log scale